subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is anaerobic respiration and fermentation anaerobic respiration and fermentation uh, anaerobic respiration is incomplete oxidation of food in the absence of oxygen now anaerobic respiration occurs in prokaryotes bacteria yeast in plants and animal cells under special conditions like in plants it can be seen in older cells of higher plants or you can say in the roots of water log plants and in animals it can be seen in muscles during inadequate presence of oxygen it also occurs in internal parasites like tinea and escaris anaerobic respiration in microorganisms is referred as fermentation alcoholic fermentation was first discovered by louis pasteur while buckner showed that an enzyme complex called zymes complex causes alcoholic fermentation in yeast during anaerobic respiration glucose gets converted into alcohol plus carbon dioxide is released now the process of anaerobic respiration or fermentation now the common pathway for aerobic and anaerobic respiration is glycolysis that is emp pathway during which a molecule of glucose get converted into two molecules of pyruvic acid now during this process two molecules of atp and two molecules of nadh are formed for glycolysis no oxygen is required now this pyruvic acid the pyruvic acid that is produced during glycolysis undergoes oxidative decarboxylation to form alcohol 
or organic acids. Now the pyruvic acid first undergoes decarboxylation. That is carbon dioxide is removed to form acetaldehyde. This occurs in the presence of enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase. Acetaldehyde is then reduced by NADH to form alcohol. Which means the two NADH that were formed during glycolysis are used here. This occurs in the presence of enzyme alcohol dehydrogenase. So the net gain in case of anaerobic respiration or your fermentation is just 2 ATP. Now less than 7% of the energy present in glucose is released during anaerobic respiration. Now, alcoholic fermentation occurs in yeast and some bacteria. Now, yeast poisons itself to death when the alcohol concentration in its cells reaches 13%. Lactic acid fermentation now, lactic acid fermentation is carried out by lactobacillus during lactic acid fermentation, the pyruvic acid gets converted into lactic acid. Milk sugar gets converted into lactic acid. This we can see during curdling of milk. Lactic acid is also formed in muscles during vigorous exercise due to lack of oxygen. Now, fermentation is of great economic importance. Like alcoholic fermentation is used in wine beer and whiskey industry or the, you can say during brewing. That is why yeast which is used in alcoholic fermentation is also known as brewer's yeast. Now during the formation of alcohol, carbon dioxide is released. Now this property of Alcohol, ferment, alcoholic fermentation is used in bakery industry for baking cakes and breads. That is why yeast is also referred as baker's yeast. 
lactic acid fermentation is used in curd formation of curd the different varieties of cheese and yogurt next is acetic acid fermentation where pyruvic acid is converted into acetic acid by acetobacter aceti is used to form vinegar now besides this fermentation is also used in curing of tea and tobacco leaves the tea and tobacco leaves are fermented to remove its bitterness and provide a nice flavor or a fine flavor to tea and tobacco it is all fermentation is also used for retting of jute that is during the separation of jute fibers fermentation is carried out to remove the softer parts of the plant or the cells attached to the fiber fermentation is also used in tanning that is conversion of hides into leather hides are the animal skin when they are converted into leather they first undergo fermentation so these are the different uses of fermentation that's all for today please do like subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below thank you thank you for watching